elevation hikes and like all of this like they're making everything more expensive and yeah like, all of this money they have to spend on like more but it's like no we can't it doesn't make sense and that's not right we continuously celebrate september we are not what's the struggle that had happened on may 1st uh, many years ago so i think that uh it's a way of it's a way of kind of erasing that communities and as, as oppressed communities and as workers and as youth, we recognize that this is a true history of Labor Day. The reason for Labor Day is to, uh, to recognize the struggle for workers is, is ongoing. The wage that we're fighting for is uh, $15 an hour because uh, early our minimum wage is as low as like $8 or $9 here in New York City. It's enough to survive. Start organizing. It's like we go back into our community. Start organizing to take back our, um, to fight for better wages, to fight for better conditions, to, to fight for control of the people. In the spirit of May Day, protests occurred across the nation to urge people to continue the fight for equal wages for women, immigrants, and people of color. Equal pay for all people will be one step forward in the search for equality across this nation and others. My job as a student is like to fight for the liberation of these schools. Fight so that these schools, they serve the people, so that they cover, so that when we go to these schools, that, that we're able to learn about stuff like ethnic studies, we're learning to be able to get, get like revolutionary ideas, we're able to like get these ideas and learn how to fight back in our community.